The snake brush in the object section of the tool panel is much like the muscle tool, except it gives us some additional options, mainly having to do with the profiles that we can choose from here. We can also choose objects from the curves palette as well. We will look into this momentarily. So let me go ahead and get started here by demonstrating here in the head region. This is a really good tool to use to create quick piping or any other kinds of tubes or pointed extrusions. There is some overlap in functionality with other tools such as the spikes tool, toothpaste and muscle, but in general, this will try to follow along the surface even if you have a different layer selected. So I'm gonna create a new layer in voxel mode. You could do this in surface mode as well, but when you're working with voxels, you need to be a little bit cognizant of scale because the larger the scale, the more resolution you're gonna have. If you're working on a smaller scale, then you need to increase the resolution on the layer all that much more. Let's increase it a few times here till we get to about 16 or more. Just remember, small scale, large resolution numbers here. The default option is straight, and it's basically just going to be flat on each end. If you were to drag along, it's typically going to cling to the surface until you come outside of the object. I'll reduce my brush size here, but again, you'll see it sticks to the surface of any visible object until your cursor moves out into open 3D space. As you may have seen in the muscle tool video, when you drag out in space and hold, it's going to smooth the entire stroke. I'll undo. Let's go to hemisphere. You can also turn steady stroke on. So for example, if I want to create some kind of a tube from a spacesuit or a robot or something. If I want to, I can switch to something like the move tool to quickly push that part in. You may want to assign a hotkey to the move tool. And when you do, you have sticky key functionality. That means if I hold it down, I can temporarily use the move tool. And as soon as I let up, then I can go back to using the snake tool almost immediately. So let's try that. Let's see, I want to push that in. I'll hold the M key down while I use it. And as soon as I let up, I go right back to the snake tool. Obviously, I had to tweak that just a bit, but I uh, probably should turn steady stroke off. I forgot to, uh, to use the move tool, hold down the M key. Let up. Let's clear that. Okay, now, when you are using the different draw modes, you will notice a difference in the way it looks. I'm pressing harder. You can see brush pressure really has a lot to do with that here, and that's a very strange look. Um, but yeah, press hard and then let up a little bit as I go. We have cone. Let's go back to the constant or absolute draw mode where brush pressure does not really have any bearing, nor does your brush alphas. You could use something square like that and it wouldn't really matter. Let's try a couple different ones here. Arrow.
Now Spike is a little bit different. It will be flat on the initial point and then it will end up in a spike. Okay, let's go uh, spike back, just the opposite. It's kind of like arrow back. Worm and muscle are very similar. But as you can see, the ends are more tapered with worm than they are with muscle. Muscle is a little bit more uh, constant, not quite as tapered on the ends. Now, that means this can be used just like the muscles tool, but where it's especially good is when you are trying to create hair, as I showed in the muscle tool video. Let's go ahead and try to create some kind of a mustache here. We probably need quite a bit of resolution. I'll wait till I get to very fine strands to do that. And muscle too. Let's go ahead and increase the resolution. And it may smooth all one time. Depth really doesn't have anything to do with the thickness of your stroke, it's more or less the radius of your brush and also pin pressure here. <laughs> okay well <laughs> it looks funny <laughs> i apologize i know he looks like a villain whose superpower is having a bad hair day every day but uh trust me we're going to go somewhere with this okay so let's try worm This would be a good point to stop the video and we're going to pick up in the next one. So stay tuned and we'll see you then.